Hi guys, Jessica here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to get the film look to your photos without the film. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Being a photographer, it's so important for me to have my work and brand displayed professionally online, and Squarespace really makes it easy to do that. They have features that make it simple to use for anyone looking to claim a domain, build a website, or market their brand. They also have beautiful templates for a wide range of projects, plus 24-7 award-winning customer support if you ever need it. You can also create an online store to sell products like presets, or you can even sell a service. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash jessica to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. With that being said, let's get back into the video. By the way guys, this is not going to come out like real film. It will never be real film. This is just like a fun way of adding textures to your pictures. So if you want to add some dust and scratches through Photoshop, I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. I think it makes the picture look pretty cool. And a lot of people have requested this, so let me show you guys how to do it. So what you're going to need first is the film dust textures themselves. I found this amazing pack online. I'm going to link down below. Uh, got really lucky with these ones, actually. These are pretty good. So they look like this. Just a really good variety. So what you want to do is just drag them from your folder directly onto your image in Photoshop and then use the transform tool to just adjust the size of it and then press enter when you're done. And then now you could do two things. You can keep the dust a white color. So I'm going to show you guys, you can go from normal to screen. And as you can see, you get those white little dust and specks. Or what you can do is you can invert this entire picture. So by pressing command I, you can see it changes it to be to have like you know the black dust so then you can go from normal to multiply so now you can see that the dust is black on your photo so i usually just switch it up i'll add in some textures with white dust and then i'll sprinkle in some with the black dust i'll invert the layers and also another thing is if you want the texture to show up even more you can either just duplicate the layer which is just a really easy thing to do or what you can do, if you want to really be technical, you can go on over to layer, new adjustment layer levels. And then by holding alt option, if you go right here in between both layers, you can clip this in. So this levels layer only affects this image right here, the texture. And what you can do is just bump up the intensity just by you know, playing around with this levels layer. So you can literally just make it even crazier as you can see. Again, this is a little bit more of a technical way to do it. Um, just another option. And you can also play with this as well. So if you want it to be a little bit more light, you can also just play around with this little gradient tab over here as well. So one thing you can also do is add a little touch of color to the sides, with, which I like to do sometimes. So you can go over here and go on over to gradient and it's already kind of chosen something similar to what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is just change up this color to be a bright red and you want it to go from the color to a transparent nothing, pretty much just nothingness. So uh, what I want to do also is make sure that this has a very focused end right here it kind of doesn't transition very far um, and then I'm going to press OK and we do want to change it up to be on the side of the photo it doesn't have to be perfect even though that's what I'm trying to do okay there we go so that's looking pretty good and also you can kind of just tweak it as needed so what I want to do is press OK and then you can go from normal to darken and there, there you go. Look how, I don't know. I think that looks pretty cool, but that's just me. No one else is here to tell me it doesn't, it looks dumb, you know? So um, that's just something I do to some of my photos. And also if you want the textures to be applied to this, you can just drag it under all of them. There you go. And um, if you want to do it manually, you can just make a new raster layer, take a brush, and then 
kind of go over with any color that you want. Again, go from normal to darken. Opacity, I'm going to keep at 88% just so you, oh, oops, wrong color. You want to make sure the foreground color is the color that you selected because that's what it's for. We're going to actually go on this side. So this is also another way of doing it as well. And you can just lower the opacity, go over it a little bit. So guys, this is pretty much it. This is how I get those textures on my pictures. Let me show you guys a little before and after. So this is before and this is after. I really hope you guys like this. Uh, play around with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as always, I would love to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one.